the secret clearing in the bushes. This is our way to Starbucks from the Cracker Barrel that we stayed at overnight. But it's like the busiest Cracker Barrel ever for RVs. However, Starbucks is really sweet. Um, right beside us we can do it our upload uh, and we can get our video online. And uh, it's kind of like a treat to us when we, when we go to Starbucks, but it's pretty easy to get here. Uh, this is the uh, Cracker Barrel in Homestead, Florida. It's almost ready. We're splitting one coffee because we're poor, <laughs> but we're uploading our video. So we're out here in the Everglades and Big Cypress National Preserve and just on a casual bike ride. And then we came across How many are there, three? Some, some gators. Obviously they're all around here, but they're pretty big. There's four of them right there. Jeez. They do look yeah. a lot smaller in the water, but dang, it's a little bit deceiving. He's gonna go into the mangrove. So there's one baby croc right there, baby alligator right here. There were two, one was just on top of it, but he's a tiny little one. Hey guys, we are currently at Mitchell's Landing, which is within Big Cypress National Preserve. So I'll go show you guys our spot. This is where we've parked for the past three days. We just got back from riding our bikes and we ended up seeing a ton of wildlife but it's very quiet here. There are bathrooms if you'd like to use those. There's water hookups um, in some of the spots farther up, but we're just boondocking here. Got our own little picnic table and fire pit. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Hey, Ricky. Oh, it's your babies. They're ready to come out. Hello. <laughs> Leahy actually jumped out of this window one time. But we found a spot, you can see Nick in the mirror right here, uh, to get water. So we're filling that up right now. Nick deals with everything on the outside and I monitor our water level from the inside. in Florida when you see nasty stuff like this. Are you hot, buddy? Florida's hot, huh? All right, we are just about filled and ready to go. Play he likes it down there. He's a boy. Today is a very gloomy day in Florida. It's like 69 degrees So we thought we'd come to a park. It's right on the beach. There's a dog park and a beach That you can let your dogs go to and run around on so Leahy is a very excited. Are you ready to go to the dog park? Yes <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do At a paw park beach, so pretty cool place. Um, I don't know exactly where it's at uh, It's just south of Sarasota uh, we're heading to Tampa in a few days, so just kind of kill some time before we have a They're gone. <laughs> they get to run around and enjoy themselves a little bit. It's tough when you're in a bus and like, he's so big. We get him out a lot, but having a good place for him to just like, go explore freely. Uh, wow, wow, look at all the dogs here. Cool place. Look at the Frenchie! <laughs> That's hilarious, he's so cute. <laughs> Yeah. Ricky's happy to sand it and softer. 
Yeah, I know. He loves. He loves rolling in sand. It's his favorite thing. What up, everyone? So, we're at Ferg's down in St. Pete, Florida. Yeah, they were at the power adage for the first like hour and a half we were here, but uh, enjoying the hell out of it. I would recommend anybody who's got Harvest House to come down to Ferg's if they can get a spot. We got lucky, and somebody must have canceled because we got something last minute, but uh, it's packed for a couple weeks. Sweet ass place. They got a dog bar in the back, so you can bring your dogs back there, all kenneled or caged up, so you can have them out and um they got all kinds of shit like 90 plus tvs i guess i mean you can obviously see that there's so many tvs here um but i highly recommend it today is laundry day so it's very important when we find a laundromat to find a space that has a lot of parking so we're in this really big lot and we're gonna go get some laundry done hey guys Sorry, we haven't picked up our camera in about a week and a half. We've been really busy and we have some exciting news to share soon, but we are currently staying in Ocala National Forest. It was a little bit stressful getting in here. It was down a very bumpy dirt road and we thought we were going to get stuck several times. Um, in fact, if you look at our tire, we lost the cap, is that what you call it? A rubber plug, I guess. Yeah, uh, and we had oil coming out all over this tire the other day so nick had a brilliant idea of patching it with some what kind of tape is that uh epdm rubber tape so we could uh keep the rubber in until we or not to keep the rubber in to keep the uh, oil into the wheel um until we get a new cap which we're a few miles away from a diesel parts place so mm -hmm. we're gonna hope that we can find something there that's gonna fit and we should be on our way after that this is our view in Ocala. We had a lakefront. Great trees all around. Beautiful, huge trees. So we've just been kind of tucked away under a few, enjoying the area. But we stayed here for three nights and then we had a ranger come around this morning and say that unless you're sleeping in a tent, they don't allow it because of homelessness or something, which it's kind of awkward. Um, so we're gonna move, go somewhere else. Maybe we just have to pitch a tent and uh, say that we're sleeping in there overnight. But, oh well, we'll see what happens. So we're gonna, we're just gonna go north. Schooly swarms in two days. We're excited to meet a lot of people. Uh, and we'll definitely be filming a lot of that. Heading to Schooly Swarm next. Be sure to like and subscribe for more.